Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Tonight we're going to look at the configuration properties and we're using a record in a Spring Boot application. So you might have tried the, the configuration properties when you want to map your properties from your application to properties or from uh, from one of your profile uh, application profile uh, properties then you uh, at some point of course you want to map those uh, properties and then use them inside your application and you maybe you have some uh, you have some that you have invented yourself um, and I, uh, I, I'm, I'm in, in, in that situation uh, right here. So I have a space that ship that defaults. This is, these are some default values that I want to use whenever I create a spaceship. And if I have not set any values, then I want to use these default values. Uh, the fuel percent it should be fueled 88 uh, percent. Yeah, uh, my spaceship, and it should be named unnamed spaceship. That is the default name, uh, and then it should have a max speed of. Yeah, let us just give it. 1001.23 it's a double so uh, yeah so let's just make it a decimal right there that's the maximum speed i want to map these three to a record um, so let us do that the first step that we need to do is that we need to enable configuration properties and that is done by adding um adding uh, adding enable configuration properties like this to our application and we also have to uh, name the, uh, the the classes the or the records that uh, the doc class files that we actually want to to, to use so in this situation right here we have a record named spaceship default values so we have to uh, name that, uh, mention that right here if you have multiple um, classes or records with um, uh, with the configuration properties annotation, then you need to uh, add all of these right here. So let us just jump right into this one right here. So this is my spaceship default values. It is a record, as you can see right there. And the way that we define a record is just by mentioning the fields. And then we get uh, a lot of cool things automatically. We get the equals and uh, we also have a nice to string method on, on, uh, yeah, for it. Usually we would use Lombok and then we would annotate with add data where when, if we would use our own, um, our, our real class, um, so this is a it's a cool thing to use the records um, that Java now provides um, for something useful like the configuration properties right here it gives very very uh, concise code it's not that much code and it's uh, easier to uh, to read when it's not that much code to read right so this this is our configuration properties that we have right here and we are we have a prefix named spaceship default that means that it will uh, actually look for uh, yeah, for all of these uh, fields right here and then it will automatically map these names right here those names can be overwritten if you want to then we can all or write it with another name uh, but there's no reason for doing that i think you should keep to the to the default uh, to the default names um yeah just just keep the default names if you want another name uh, inside your record then also change the name in the um in the application properties actually that is a that is actually a rule that says that um if you have a minus then it will also be uh, translated to uh, to camel case actually let, let us just try that uh, i'm pretty sure of this um then we have then i've created a test to test that this works and i've created the spring boot test named uh, named spaceship default values test and here i'm auto wiring in my default values and of course this auto wiring or this wiring in um, usually it would be with a constructor uh, injection if it's your normal application or if it's up in your source code but this is in the test code then it's okay that you use the add auto wire in your uh, in, in your test code right here so and then we have the test right here and what does it do it actually just prints out the uh, yeah whatever uh, record that we have right here and yeah spoiler alert, this, this was the result just before when i ran it, it ran it just before starting recording this video but let us try again now we did we changed something right so let us see if it still works it's always fun to see um, now we made that minus but it still works we have a maximum speed 1001.23 we have the unnamed spaceship right here we have a fuel percentage of 88 um so it works it's quite cool uh, I will definitely use uh, records instead of uh, classes when I can to store all of our uh, to store uh, to store uh, yeah configuration properties. Um, it is quite um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's a uh, it's a good little uh, charming uh, feature that we have right uh, right there. About the naming, uh, some uh, some people actually like to name this instead of naming this uh, spaceship default value like this. Then it could be like uh, then it could be properties um, default properties 
this is also one way to name it. You could also name it. You could also name it. Um, you could also name it configuration properties. I've also seen that. You could also name it config or configuration. I have also seen that. Um, it, of course, the naming is totally up to you. Um, and the cool, uh, the, if you ever uh, lose the, over, the overview of um, of which which configuration properties you have mapped into your application, then you can always go look at your application and then go look search for the enable application properties uh, annotation right here. Then you can look at your values and then you can see which um, yeah, which records and classes are actually uh, well, it's possible to actually use. Uh, for your application. Uh, there's one more thing. I actually added a dependency. I'm not sure that I actually need that. It was because I got a pop-up from IntelliJ and then I added this configuration processor. Isn't uh, I'm not sure if it's actually part of the default or not, but I got this pop-up from IntelliJ that said that it could be a... Yeah, I tried to read this documentation and then it could, that said that I tried to add this. The, um, try to add this. So I'll, let me just try to remove it and then we will refresh and then we'll run our code again and see if we are still happy. So we'll go and look at our um, at our tests. It, our test is up here. Um, test code, Java right there. Here it is. Then I'll press play and let us see if it still runs. I think it will. Yeah, it still runs. So it's it's part of the it's part of the default uh, a spring application and this has actually worked um i read the documentation so that's it's something that, that has been working since spring 2.6 and this is 2.7 something that i'm running right here um so you don't do not need to have the add constructor binding on top of your uh, record you just need the configuration properties like like you saw right here as you can see right here i actually uh, miss i actually used another uh, an application for another demo named spring boot cucumber so uh, feel free to look up the the code on github uh, on, inside that project i will leave the links in the description below as usual so you can uh, take the code yourself if you are stuck uh, but there's not much into the to this part right here so that's not that many uh, places where you can actually get stuck um, yeah at configuration provinces have some provinces that matches these names that you have right here that matches the prefix and then you're up, up and running and then you're happy yes thank you very much for watching have a great evening and i hope to see you again soon bye bye